think this place is safe? I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. What do you think you're doing, Zhang? Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Zhang. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? 
They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. You shouldn't be wasting time. Deal with the Thorian. You shouldn't be wasting time. Deal with the Thorian. It's almost time, isn't it? Maybe we can free our friends after all. I have to help them. It's my fault this happened. It's almost time, isn't it? Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. You've brokered a far gentler resolution than many colonies manage. ExoGeniCorp appreciates your cooperation in securing its colonial assets. ExoGeniCorp appreciates your cooperation in securing its colonial assets. ExoGeniCorp appreciates your cooperation in securing its colonial assets. How are we supposed to fight an enemy like this? It just can't get worse than this. I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. What'd you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade! Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. We might be able to adapt a concussion grenade to deploy it. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good luck. Even if the Thorian makes them fire on us, that's what the gas grenades are for. You got it, Commander. Let's do this.
are definitely protected. We've got to move one of those cargo blocks. sense of the controls, Commander? I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. wants me to stop you, but I won't! I won't! We just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kila. What is that? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... Problematic. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground.
I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or... I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did for Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe. Embrace eternity. given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look pretty rough. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. 
In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorium? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Do you know what the conduit is, or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Procyon extinction. Well then whatever it is, we can't let him have it. You have the cipher. In time your visions will clear, they will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. Can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. Ships are already on their way here with supplies. We'll be the biggest human colony yet. John may be corrupt, but he certainly got us a great deal. Ships are all... Thank you so much. Now Exogeny will pour the money in. We'll be able to rebuild and then some. Soon we'll have everything we need. We're going to be very busy. These people are brave, but the Gath are relentless. My people know this better than anyone. All traces of the Thorian will be here. just might work. All traces of the Thor- You won't recognize this place when we're done. You'd think Exogeny would be more interested in protecting their investment. We're not soldiers. We didn't stand a chance against the Geth. Oh, I hope the new money doesn't spoil this place. I don't think any of the colonies get the support they deserve. this place. We're stronger than the company gives us credit for. I hope we can make this colony work. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. 
I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined, filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all? Goodbye. I wish you well in your future efforts. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I could think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. Finally, we have hope again. It was in my head. Like getting slapped every time your eyes left the ground. I don't know if I want to stay, but I'm glad we have the choice. After a while, we just instinctively did what the Thorian wanted. I Thank you for everything you tried to do here. Makeshift defenses. Untrained civilians. It's a miracle anyone is still standing. Thanks to you, Greta and I can start over. The Thorian controlled us. With pain. I never expected this much trouble. I guess that's what makes it a frontier world. Thank you for everything you did. Thanks for getting me these power cells. Hopefully I can get this damn thing working. It will take time to get back to normal. The Geth are gone. We've got water again. Everything's good. I'm free again. Thank you for everything. Thank you for freeing us. The Thorian forced me to think what it wanted. That thing got into my head pretty deep. It hurt so much. I'm glad we'll have another chance here. That's all Davin and I have ever wanted. Thank you for freeing us. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Ender, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time.
Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. <laughs>